Hello, should be a pleasant day tomorrow for most of us, I think. Uh, generally dry, spells of sunshine breaking through virtually everywhere. And if you catch a shower, you'll be uh, unlucky or lucky, because I think some of us are really quite desperate for rain just at the moment. So come the afternoon, the odd light shower just drifting down some of those North Sea coasts. The breeze off the sea, keeping temperatures around the high teens here. As we come further south and west, 23 in London and Southampton, pretty well bang on the average for the latter part of July. Southern coast of Devon and Cornwall probably getting the best deal, uh, sheltered from the breeze and with some of the best of the sunshine, but much of South Wales should enjoy sunny spells through the afternoon as well. Perhaps staying a little cloudier across northern and eastern parts of Wales and the northwest of England. For Northern Ireland, it stays settled. The wind's very light, so when the sun does come through, it's going to feel pleasantly warm. Probably southwestern parts of Scotland seeing the highest of the temperatures, Glasgow up to 20 degrees, more like the high teens across the north. But here too, it should be a fine day. So pleasant enough, but as you can see, by the time we get into Friday, we're starting to see a bit more in the way of cloud across northern parts of the UK and producing some outbreaks of rain. Whereas further south, well, the dry weather continuing in London, for example, Still on the warm side, 23 or 24 degrees, but uh, little chance of much rain getting in here. Most of the rain on Friday will be across Scotland, Northern Ireland, eventually into northern and western parts of England and Wales. Temperatures still up into the low 20s across the south. A mix of sunny spells and showers for most of us for the weekend. The most lucrative ways to save your money next on BBC Two Wales. I can't wait to spend next week in Everbell. We need to run line at Castadli and a pavilion. For me, it's the Battle of the Parts. A Castadli thick and iguary in the for the Hemphrin Dairy de Mice. The Arts and Craft Tent is my favourite. The National Eisteddfod of Wales from Everbell. All next week on TV, radio, and online. Alice wants to find out which of her six father figures she can truly call dad. And figuring it out has just become even more important. I'm engaged. <laughs> Ricky asked me to marry him last night, and I said yes, obviously. There's the ring. <laughs> now Alice must decide which of her six dads will walk her down the aisle. Part of the adult season. Do I have to just have one? Alice and her six dads, Thursday at 9 on BBC Three. There's a hole in our security. Find it and we'll pay you. Three victims in three days. These circus performers or gang members sent here to get it back. Get what back? What's the code? Sherlock continues. How do you to do a job? Don't get sidetracked. Oh. Sunday at 8.30 on BBC One. Catch up on BBC iPlayer. Power broking in close-up. The exclusive inside story of the five days that changed Britain tomorrow at nine o'clock on BBC Two Wales. Now though, how to keep the pound in your pocket. The recession was tough, but the...